put and call options. And the strategy was securing a property for a one dollar option, two dollar option, maybe you know ten hundred dollars, whatever it is. But securing a property uh, and having that option to exercise that option to purchase that property in like a three to six month period. So maybe you there might be like a, a unit for you know sale for. Three hundred thousand dollars, and you say, "Hey, look, I'll give you three hundred twenty thousand dollars in six months' time if we agree to me exercising the purchases for three hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars." And I have in that six months' time, I have access to the property to do whatever I wish with it. And in that time, you go in and you renovate the property, that unit, uh, and then you sell that unit. Uh, you get a contract of sale, so you know maybe you renovate it, you put like twenty grand into it. So your price is three forty, and then you maybe sell it for three eighty, uh, and get a contract for sale for three eighty, and then you uh, exercise your option. You buy it for three twenty, and you put twenty grand into it, so it's going to cost you three hundred forty. But then you're making three eighty, so the difference is forty grand. Yeah, forty grand, and less your stamps, less less, legal, less a less bunch of agencies. things. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just an example. Um, you can do it with whatever figures would work for you. Uh, the reason it was really tough is because it's and not the best way to go, in my opinion, for my my investment strategy is it's really hard to find people that want to exercise that option because not many people know what a put and call option is on a property, mm-hmm. and it just seems risky to them when they own a property. Why would they do that? And so you really need to find people that are desperados that are wanting to sell their property and they need they need money straight away or not straight away, but they want a higher price and they want it. Know, maybe the future it's really fine really tricky to find those and i spent a bunch of time calling agents and making a lot of relationships building them out in the in one certain market and found it quite tough because everybody even the agents were like you are you serious like this, this isn't a thing not many people do this and they like a lot of agents have never really heard of it so mm. yeah it was a strategy that i paid a, a decent money to learn and you know, just waste a bunch of bunch, bunch of time. I wouldn't say it's a complete waste. I learned a lot in the process about property and in other avenues, but that's one way that you can purchase property technically without your own cash and that, without needing to put your own cash into it. And it works really well if you can find somebody that's going to want to sell you a deal with a put and call option and you have no cash to inject into it other than maybe a little bit, you know, 10, 20 grand for a reno, which is not enough for a full property deposit. Or you can get um, finance and renovation now too. Exactly. So, buy so, now, pay, pay, pay later renovation. Yeah. Companies out there. But I mean, going back but to. But the risk comes up there. Like the risk gets higher and higher as you stack that. Yeah, and you, your profit requirement there yeah, because it might be higher to pay all your know, just holding costs and everything. And, yeah. But the, the strategy itself, it actually was quite prominent like years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it's more suited to a suppressed market. And so the last, well, basically since 2012, probably the bottom of the Australian property market, 2012, 2013, um, it's just been a, you know, on an upward tick. So people, it's not in their best interest to sell someone a property in six months, essentially, for maybe 10 or 20 grand extra. Um, and then you compete against other buyers, but in a really down market, so done nothing other than maybe drop for the past three years. Um, people under like stress and they, they know they want to just get rid of it. They've got no buyers on the property. And this is why asset selection is so important is that if you've got an asset that no one wants to buy and you have to sell, it, it, it's just a bloodbath. You know? like, <laughs> people like yeah. put and call option people like Jared back in the day, they're the sharks that are just swimming around just going, oh, cool, well, I've got the money. I'm happy to give it to you, but on my terms only. Yeah. And they're only doing it because they know they're going to make a margin out of it. So you're the poor sucker left there that's over leveraged itself to all like, you know, got, got sold a, a dud asset by a, you know, a trained real estate agent who's there to sell you on the dream, right? Like, it's, yeah. There's so much to it. So, yeah. Maybe we talk about that in another app as well. <laughs> we say this every time about uh, how to not be sold into purchasing an investment that. You don't know what it is, and if it's not right for your investment strategy. So yeah, that's put. That's that's put and call option. 